Stan shared this with me, I don't know, what was this, maybe a year ago or whatever yeah. when you first got here, and I thought, you know, this is really uh, helpful to understand how you function and how you function with other people. So um, I've kind of prodded him to come share this with you. I think it's really good, and I appreciate that, uh, Stan. Uh, on the back of your Kingdom Men uh, brochure, you'll notice that Fort Tucson is uh, one of the sponsors. And uh, so I hope that you'll take that serious and uh, get it out to some of your uh, friends and uh, that kind of thing. Stan, come back up here for just a minute. And uh, we sort of started a little tradition, and I think what we'd like to do is, is continue that. Uh, let me ask uh, also, there were several of you that had given uh, prayer requests to us that you had emailed. Is anybody in the room that did that? I did. Has there been any result from that? You want to stand up and share real quick? Okay. God show up? God always shows up. He Amen. just doesn't have the same the answer that you think you're going to get. Okay. <laughs> That's true Maybe. a lot of times, isn't it? But um, the prayer team is called and, and wants updates. You know, they want to know, we pray for everybody, what's going on? Uh, is there anybody else in here that uh, prayed? Yes. Uh, yes, I, I sent in a request to God. God was there because we've had a significant increase in the last six months. Very good. Okay, good. And somebody else. Anybody else have a prayer request that you turned in to our prayer team? Uh, there have been several. Uh, one uh, business owner said that he was uh, on the verge of bankruptcy uh, the month that we prayed. He has emailed me back and told me that uh, miraculously uh, money came in, people that owed him money, all kinds of things that happened, but he was able to catch back up, and he said, at least for now, he's stable. Um, I think I shared with you that uh, I used my business as a guinea pig. Uh, they were praying for us in August, and our business was up 41% in one month. And that's, that's huge. So I sent Karen a prayer request yesterday. I said, keep praying. I'm losing. Businesses are dropping <laughs> off, and I need some more prayer support. But uh, I want to encourage you, if you want us to pray for your business, your particular situation, there's three, three rules. One is you... You've got to be honest. Tell us exactly what's going on so we can pray effectively. Number two, you've got to be willing to tell us what happened so that we can uh, come back. And number three, I want you to be able to share and give God the glory for what he's doing with the other business leaders in our city. Uh, God is really real. He really does answer prayer. A lot of times we pray on the fly. We're busy. We do things. But I really think that's a mistake when we don't learn to pray for each other and support each other. So uh, I want to encourage you, if you have a particular prayer request, to send it to us. We will send it up to the prayer team, and uh, we're, they're going to ask me, you know, what's happening. So uh, if you haven't responded back and told us an update, I'd like to be able to share what that encourages them. And then the other thing that I want to do is each time that we have a business leader come and speak, uh, Stan's got the uh, kingdom man and several other things he's involved in. I would just like us to uh, bless him. Uh, come up here. We're just, just going to pray for you and pray for kingdom men. And uh, I'm going to just ask if two other guys would come up and just uh, help me with this. Two other guys. There we go. And uh, come on over here. And uh, I'm going to ask you to start. And Steve, I'm going to ask you to pray, and then I'll close. And then when we do that, we'll be done. All right. Lord, we uh, gather together in your name and uh, we ask you to put your hand of protection on Stan and your hand of creativity on Stan and your hand of management on Stan so that he can take the enterprise of Kingdom Men and move it forward as it would glorify you. Father, I thank you for the way you have inspired Stan to come back to Tucson and to uh, have the endeavors that he's working on to get men trained to be the husbands, the, the fathers they need to be, and the leaders in our churches. And we pray that you will just continue to pour out upon Stan and Sue and the ministry of kingdom men everything that needs to happen so that more men will come forward and learn and grow and be what you want us to be as men of God. Lord, I thank you for this man of vision, this man of passion, this man of commitment. He is an example to me and to us all. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for a good morning together with uh, other people that are struggling through uh, the economy with our businesses. I pray that we would learn to support and encourage and challenge each other to stay true to the course. I pray for each person in this room, God, that you would help us not to be discouraged, help us to stay focused on you and not the storm around us. And I pray that uh, you would bless us. I thank you for these that uh, you have blessed their businesses as they've asked. And um, today we want to lift up Stan to you and uh, ask God that you would bless him in the things that he puts his hand to. We ask for your uh, blessing on kingdom men, that it would be uh, even beyond his wildest expectations. Father, I thank you for each person in this room, and may we go with your blessing today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being here. Uh, was there some, well, wait a minute. One more thing. Doug, I apologize. It's okay. I just wanted to mention December the 15th, our speaker is going to be Coach Jerry Kendall. And uh, some of you know the coach, and, and he's, just, he's a great man. I'm really excited to have him. Also, you can become a member of Tucson Business Fellowship. If you'd like more information, talk to Rick Sturtz over here, or Mark, or me. God bless you all, and have a great day.